Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of The Fat Vegan Chef. Today I'll be making a popular Peruvian dish that I have veganized, a rose tapado. It's a dish that's traditionally made with meat, eggs, and vegetables and it's sandwiched in between rice. Watch as I use some alternative ingredients to make it vegan and still make it tasty. You can find this recipe and more at thefatveganchef.com. Go there now to copy the recipe down and follow along as I make this tasty Latin dish. The tools that you'll need to make this dish are a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, a knife, saute pan, a pan with a lid on, measuring cups and measuring spoons, a wooden spoon or a mixing spoon, a plate, some mixing bowls, and some regular bowls, and also a fine mesh wire strainer. The ingredients that you'll need to make this dish are one cup of dry brown rice, two cups water plus you'll need another couple of cups to soak the rice in, one small red onion that's been diced, one red bell pepper that's been diced, one scallion that's been sliced thin, one fourth of a cup of silken tofu that's been kind of chopped up, a pinch or two of turmeric. You'll need one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, one carrot that's been diced, one potato that's been diced. This happens to be in soaking water and that's just to keep the potato from turning brown while I'm doing this presentation. Ideally you want to cut the potato right before you cook it. If you need to prepare it ahead of time, soak it in water and that will keep it from turning brown. You'll need one half cup of frozen peas, one half cup of frozen corn, you'll need one tablespoon of uh, tomato paste, one quarter of a bunch of cilantro that's been minced, you'll need one teaspoon of aji amarillo chili paste, one fourth of a teaspoon of ground cumin, one package of ground beef substitute of your choice, sea salt and black pepper to taste, you'll need uh, some cilantro leaves to garnish with, and also a really good um, extra virgin olive oil. This happens to be a pical from Peru. And uh, I'll go ahead and uh, wait while you gather the ingredients. Just go ahead and pause the video. And when you're ready, go ahead and start it back up again. Do you have all your tools and ingredients gathered? Great. Let's go ahead and start making this dish. First what we're going to do is go ahead and soak our rice. So we'll take our one cup of brown rice, put that in a bowl, and we're going to cover this with water and let this soak for 20 minutes. And it's going to be cold water. Okay, so we have that in water. and. While this is soaking, we're going to go ahead and go on to the next step, which is to fix the tofu. So I'll see you at the stove. Next thing that we're going to do is cook the tofu. What we'll want to do is heat a pan on the stove on medium-high heat. Once the pan is hot, add your one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and get that nice and hot. Now that the oil is hot, go ahead and add your tofu. And your turmeric. Give us a good stir. And we want to try to keep some fairly good sized pieces. I want to give this a good little fry here. Okay, this is established some good color on it. 
we got some good browning on it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in a bowl and we're going to set this aside. The rice has been soaking for 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and drain it and you can do this over the sink. I'm just doing this here just so um, you can watch me do it for illustrative purposes here. Drained off. Go ahead and put this in a pan. Bring up the heat to high. Add your two cups of water. Put in a couple of good pinches of salt. Cover this with the lid. We're going to bring this up to a boil and then we're going to bring the heat down so it's down to a simmer and you're going to cook it uh, pretty much according to the package directions. Usually about 40-45 minutes is how long this is going to take. So uh, while this is cooking, we'll go ahead and prepare the rest of the ingredients. Okay, now that we have our rice going, we're going to go ahead and cook the vegetables. First thing you want to do is get a large saucepan or saute pan, heat it up to medium high heat. Once it's nice and hot, add your two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and get that nice and hot. Once that is hot, add your potatoes. And if you did have them soaking in water, make sure they're drained really well before. Add your one small red onion diced. And that was one potato that's been diced. One red bell pepper that's been diced. One diced carrot. The green onion that's been sliced thin. And the package of ground beef substitute. And we'll cook this for a couple minutes until the red onions become translucent. Our onions have become translucent. We're going to go ahead and add the remaining ingredients which are the two cloves of minced garlic the tofu that we cooked earlier one tablespoon of tomato paste one teaspoon of ahi amarillo sauce and if you like it spicier you can add more if you want probably pronouncing that wrong. All of you Spanish speaking folks feel free to correct me in the comments. One fourth teaspoon of ground cumin. Salt and pepper to taste and this happens to be one half teaspoon salt and one teaspoon of ground pepper and we're going to taste this later on to see if we need more the one quarter bunch of cilantro and then our half cup of corn and our half cup of peas and these were frozen and I thawed them out I'm go ahead and stir this up here we're going to let this cook for another few minutes and we're going to stir it fairly often our vegetables are nice and cooked. I'm going to go ahead and take this off the stove and 
get the start assembling this. So I'll see you back at the counter and we'll get this put together. Our rice and filling are done cooking. So we're going to go ahead and assemble this dish. First thing you want to do is take your bowl and line it with some plastic wrap. And this will just help keep things from sticking here. Now take a couple of leaves of cilantro and put them upside down in there. something like, like that. Now take some of your rice and put it in the bottom and smash it down. Oh. And this rice is pretty sticky. Next what you'll do is take some of your filling put that on top smashing it down as you go you want this to all kind of form into one big thing here Okay, now you'll top or bottom it off with some more of your rice. Again, kind of mold it in there. So all becomes one all right. Now that we have that established, we can go ahead and put this on a plate just like that. And if everything works, should just kind of slide out here, kind of put the plastic wrap out and around so it stays in place. Just like that. It looks like I lost one of my leaves, which I can fix. Now what you'll do is take some of your good single olive, extra virgin olive oil, drizzle that right on top, just like that. And that's a veganized version of a raw tapato. I hope yours comes out as good as mine did. Please, if you make this, please let me know in the comments. If you like this recipe, please consider donating at thefatveganchef.com forward slash please donate. Or you can go to tfvc.org forward slash donate. Also, please let your friends and family know on Facebook and Twitter. Um, please help spread the word. Thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned for more. And uh, have a good day.